nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 39 in our series NerdDice.com, where we build a Ruby on Rails 7 application to manage tabletop role-playing games. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a documentation bug that existed that exists right now in our repo. So in our other series, Nerd Dice, where we create a Ruby gem plugin to um, deal with the rolling of polyhedral dice, random number generation, um, and some stuff related to um, like Ruby metaprogramming to be able to do uh, things like roll underscore 3d8, and it will actually uh, like define that method and roll those dice. But we were setting up a contributing file in that one and was about to note, hey, when you're doing something like this and adapting it from another repo, make sure you don't, uh, you change the references to the, uh, that exist within that internal repo. So the, uh, the thing I noticed was whenever we are dealing with our issues list, and recommending that somebody open an issue. So uh, here you can see uh, it might be a little small, but the uh, the highlight there shows nerd dice slash issues, not nerddice.com slash issues. So I go here and you can see it's taking us to the nerd dice repo, not the nerddice.com repo. So uh, that is a problem and uh, one we need to fix because otherwise somebody will like, hey, I want to add a feature to the Ruby uh, app, the, the, the nerddice.com, uh, and it'll wind up posting it in the wrong project. So to remediate that, we're going to go into our repo here. We have just updated uh, Ruby and Rails in the previous version. We'll check out a new branch here. Uh, call it bug fix. Creating issues repo. So we've got that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do the search function here in um, the uh, VS Code, and we're going to look for nerd dice. You can see we've got a bunch in uh, contributing and read me. This is just our. This is just the actual, yeah, the um, the app here. But in contributing, we want to make sure that we're finding now anything that has nerd dice slash in it. So it looks like we might have an issue in our README as well. Yep. So uh, both our README and our contributing are affected here. Uh, and we are going to just see if we can do a mass replace here. Nerd dice dot com. And replace all. So now in our search here, if we go and do this, nerd dice, I spelled it wrong. Well, we'll do another mass replace here. dot com with 
no e. Re replace. Now, if we go back and re search for this, we've got those changes. If we do git diff and see nerddice.com slash issues, nerddice.com slash issues, nerddice.com slash issues, nerddice.com slash issues, 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 and then in the readme, issues there. So I think that solves the, um, the problem. I'm going to um, now just, um, this didn't change any code, so I'm not going to locally uh, run the build here. Just git add, git commit, sign it, write my message. All right, I've got my commit message here. And get status, make sure we're working with a clean directory. Push to a new remote branch. Open a pull request. While the build is running, we want to go to that branch and check our Backlog issues list. Contributing bug reports. Code contributions. Where was that even? Showing up. Tag workflows, maintainability. It's in the Ruby on Rails application section here. very, very top of the yeah, project backlog issues list. All right, that's going to the right place. It's weird that it, okay. Yeah, that's going to the right place. Now, if we go to contributing, there are a bunch of places here. Open an issue. Now it takes it to the right place. Uh, issue here. I think we're good. Uh, let's check on our build. We are green, so we can merge this pull request, which I'll do from the command line. Git checkout. 
main, git merge, branch name, git branch, uh, git push, git branch, delete old branch, back to our pull request. Delete our remote branch, and you see that one closed the issue automatically. It's weird. Sometimes the issue gets closed automatically. Sometimes it uh, requires me to add a comment to it. But our backlog is updated, and we will see you in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.